Hey YouTube, Jay from YoVR. Today we're going to be checking out Converge. For those who are not familiar with Converge, Converge is like uh, Oculus Social, uh, except it bridges a gap that currently exists between the DK2 users wanting to chat with the Gear VR users and vice versa. So today in today's video, um, we're going to be checking out sort of some level design stuff, um, you know, the features that Converge offers out of the box, at least in this beta, um, and the direction that Converge is going overall. So let's just hop right in and check it out. So when we first launched the Converge app, the first thing we see is this um, moonlight setting with this uh, splash screen. Um, it's just a typical splash screen, so we can click right in. Um, one of the big distinguishing differences between the Oculus Social um, and say something like Converge, um, it's very customizable. So if I can click here, unlike Oculus Social, I can change my name if I want to. And even more so, um, I can customize my avatar. Now, if you go to Converge's site, which I'll show here, um, you know, a little bit later in the video, you can upload your own avatar, or have a code associated with it, um, and then pull it into the application. Um, there's a lot of default um, avatars here. So let's see, we got like Hank Hill right there. Um, we have Finn. Um, I kind of like Finn. Yeah. Do I want to be Darth Vader? Um, I think actually I'm going to select Finn in this case. So that should work. Another, um, big difference between Converge and something like Oculus, um, is the ability to create rooms. So we have those default rooms. We can click here. Um, we can name our room right now. It says test room. Oh, let's name it something like Elo. Um, and then we have three, three environments to choose from, the tavern, the cave, and the campfire. Now, the campfire is more of a, a social setting. There's no, there's no screen. So if you wanted just to sit down with some friends and just chat without distractions, um, campfire is the place to do that. But for this video, we're going to check out um, this cave setting. So let's see what this is about. So it loads into here. Um, if you're familiar with the Oculus Social, very similar. There's a screen. Um, if you're not familiar with Oculus Social, don't worry. We're going to show some of that stuff. Oh, I pulled up that menu on accident. Um, basically, uh, you can come in here and you can turn your mic on and off in this menu. Um, you can search YouTube videos and just sit down with folks and watch YouTube videos. Let's see. Let's YouTube music. That's generic enough. Okay, search. Four hours of Christmas music. Yeah, that should work. Ooh. So, um, obviously, uh, this is a beta, right? And so um, there's bugs to be found. Uh, I will say, when I went through this um, a couple days ago, I wasn't having any issues with the YouTube videos. So this seems like it might be something new. Um, or it might be that I'm loading videos um, to have some sort of restriction or maybe they're just too long. Um, I don't really know how all this is functioning uh, behind the scenes. So I, I really couldn't tell you. Um, but I can vouch that this does work. Um, you could switch basically where you sit. If you're familiar with Oculus Social, this is um, similar to the swipe on the, the headset. You would swipe over and uh, change seats. Let's try one more time. Let's try to click another. What do I want to listen to? I don't want to listen to Chris Brown, but whatever. Um, yeah, so, oh, that's weird. So, yeah, so it seems to be an issue with, with videos right now. Um, I could press the back button, and uh, normally what we what's nice about the Oculus Social is I could jump rooms, but in Converge, I really can't go back and switch rooms at the moment. Now, um, I've talked to Sean over at Converge, and he said that that's something that they're working on. Um, it was something that was originally planned to be rolled out, but there was a bug or something. Um, and so they didn't quite roll out the, the exit the room feature. Um, it's not the end of the world. I re will say that these levels, I mean, or these environments compared to what I'm used to with the Oculus Social are beautiful. Um, there's additional options like this one. I could say that I love something. Um, I don't, I think that's the purpose of that. It shoots up hearts. And then there's this really cool um, sword 
if I want to battle someone that's sitting in here with me. Unfortunately, there's no one on the server. It's a uh, it's a little late, and I know the holidays are just starting. So, um, and then I can take this mushroom, which is really crazy because basically what this mushroom does is it, yeah, you basically start tripping out when you take the take the mushroom. You can see that the screen has effects. Um, the cave has sort of started to change colors, and and just everything's going crazy. Um, it's even more interesting when you're talking to people because it also affects the audio as well. Um, so that's really funny, and, and I'll show that um, somewhere in this video. I'll, I'll try to clip it in just so you can see. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. So um, now let's take a look at the Oculus Social um, app so we can have sort of a baseline to compare um, the features in Converge versus Oculus Social. So we can hop into Oculus Social. So, and this takes a little bit to load here. Um, and being that this app isn't beta, uh, right, this is in like the main Oculus app, you know, it ships, um, it doesn't ship. No, actually it's something I downloaded. Um, but there's lots of people in here. And um, I guess one of the main differences is there's, you can't create the rooms like you can in Converge. You're sort of stuck with these generic uh, levels, you know, the theater, um, there's a moon theater. Uh, there's one where you, you have like a bug's perspective and you're looking at, I think, yeah, it's a Samsung, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, I think it's a galaxy that we're looking at. But this is nice. So um, Converge has YouTube integration. Um, Oculus Social is Twitch and Vimeo. Um, so no, no ability to search YouTube, but we can open up these Twitch feeds. Uh, we can open up these Twitch streams, um, have the chat feed on the side, um, watch someone game for a little bit, um, chat with some people. I chose a room with nobody in it. Uh, it's kind of boring. Um, and of course, I can leave rooms and Oculus Social. Uh, so let's join one with people in it. So there's people in here um, chatting. Like I said, you can see the, the Twitch feed on the side. Not a whole lot going on in here. How's it going? Say hello. Good, how are you? Pretty well. Just hopping in and out of rooms. See what's going on. So I can leave this room. Um, yeah, and you know I didn't point it out, but up there at the top is where my avatar is set. Um, I have pretty much a locked-in username um, and a, a you know a small selection of avatars to choose from, so I can't bring my own avatar. So I thought um, you know for th this video just to show you um, what the social experience is like um, without the screen, I. Fired up, um, I fired up the Converge app once more, and um, let's go ahead and create a room. Um, yeah, let's let's go find. Yeah, let's create a room. Um, same name, but um, this time let's use the campfire as our setting. Also, super important note for the difference between Converge and something like Oculus Social, right? So. Um, with Oculus Social, um, obviously we are sort of locked into to just conversing with people that have the Gear VR. Um, it's something that's offered, you know, primarily on the Gear VR. So if if the only people I can talk to essentially have a Gear VR, but with this convert with the Converge app, I can talk to DK2 users, so we can all be in the same space, um, sitting around this campfire, um, taking mushrooms, um, and just exploring and chatting. Um, it's really too bad that I'm the only person online here. So fundamentally, uh, what Converge is trying to do is sort of bridge that bridge that gap between the DK2 users um, 
and the Oculus and, and the Gear VR users. We can go over to the Converge site. Um, this is their main page. We can see who's online in Converge, which is kind of nice if, if you want to just hop in. And then here's that custom avatar upload thing. So I can go in here and see other avatars that people have made public um, and see codes associated with them, find something I like um, by the name of the avatar and a code associated with it. And then I can reach out and then I can use that in the app. And then there's this upload form um, for, you know, using something, using some sort of 3D, some, some 3D rendering software of sorts. Um, I think most people use Blender. Um, but basically, yeah, it gives you constraints and you can upload um, your own 3D model. Now, since I didn't get a chance to chat with anyone in the Converge app, I decided I was just going to split in a clip from when I did converse with somebody um, just the other day. Um, so here's that clip now. Uh, uh, when you're uh, eating uh, mushrooms? I love mushrooms. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to take... I don't, I don't think there's anybody... I don't think there's anybody who would like the mushrooms and the munching noise is absolutely brilliant. So my final thoughts. Um, overall, I think both applications are great. Um, Converge is going a bit different direction. Um, the focus is primarily on making sure that they bridge the gap between um, the Rift users um, and the Gear VR users to offer a place where everyone can come together and chat. Um, while the Oculus Social stuff seems to be focused, um, it doesn't seem to be as device agnostic. Um, Converge offers um, some pretty interesting features. Um, that are very playful, things like, uh, you know, the level design um, is pretty interesting in Converge. Um, the mushroom feature, obviously, the hearts, um, the sword. I know there's lots more um, features um, in the other version for the Rift, and I'm sure we'll see those come to the Gear VR. Um, while the Gear VR Oculus Social experience, um, you know, seems to be focused a lot on the media content, so um, Vimeo... Um, Vimeo and uh, uh, Twitch, right? Um, which it's also worth noting that I've seen videos of the Converge app with um, Twitch integration. So I'm sure that's coming as well. Um, that being said, all in all, I'd say that I prefer the Converge experience um, over the Oculus social experience. I know comparing both of them is like sort of comparing apples and oranges at this point. Um, but I'm really excited to see the direction that the Converge team goes. Um, yeah, and, and see sort of what integrations they come up with over the course of the next few months um, as they roll this out to the official the official Oculus Store. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or feedback for me, feel free to leave um, a comment in the comment section. Um, and as always, please subscribe. Um, and thanks for watching my video.